Hello, and welcome along to Adobe After Effects Techniques with your host, Robert Smith. In this video, we're going to continue creating this animated logo. In the first video, we, we managed to create this uh, magma, I don't know what to describe it as, but an exploding magma using Mr. Mercury and uh, the particle system. Okay, so let's get that under control a little bit. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to make a new, I'm going to go Apple Zero first to go back to my project window. I'm going to make a new composition. Apple N for a new composition. And OK. And in this new composition, I'm going to drag the first composition, Comp 1, into here like this. And there it is, doing exactly the same thing, but it's now nested inside another composition. And the reason I do that is because I want to apply a mask to this layer. Now, masking um, in After Effects is a huge field, and you can do a lot with the mask, but we're going to do a very, very basic mask. I'm going to show you how to do it. You simply click on the layer like that, and make sure it's in a comp like that as well. And up here, this, uh, these are basically primitive drawers. You can draw rectangles and all sorts of things with these, but if you select the layer first, then it becomes a mask. So if I click on here and select this part here, and I want an ellipse tool like that, and I'm just going to click on the stage here, hold the shift key down to keep it as a circle. And as you can see, it's now masking that. Now, I'm not happy with where that started, so Apple Z that again. I might move that back into about here. About there is good. And then start to drag. Ah, that's more like it. So I get what I want inside that mask. Okay. Very nice indeed. As you can see, it's exploding in. It doesn't go outside that area. So basically what I've done is, if you're familiar with Photoshop, I'll just create an alpha channel on that mask, on that layer. And if you look down here, let's go and have a look at these mask options. And this, this will all be covered in depth in another series of videos. But you'll notice now that this layer's got a, a property called masks and mask one like that. And we can animate these things, for example, just a simple thing. If I wanted to change the mask, reverse it, I'd just go to subtract. So now it's back the front. Oh, that looks pretty good. <laughs> I like that. Okay, now what I will do, I'll just go back and make that add again, like this. <clears throat> and it does that. Okay, so now we've got a mask. What I'd like to do now is apply a stroke effect to that. So to do that, I'll go to my effects and presets over here and type in stroke, like that. And now we'll just close that down. We must have a stroke, there it is there. If I drag this onto, onto that um, mask, like that, I can go over here into my properties and go to my brush size. Let's make it about, about that. About there, yeah, 12.6 is good. So now I've got a mask. And it's a bit wide, a bit dominant, that color. So I could change the color here if I like. But what I will do, I might just drop the opacity back a little bit here, like that, back to about, oh, back to about 50% is fine. And great, so let's have a look at that, what, what we've done so far. Looking good, looking good. We now have our animation with our two effects inside a mask and again masks will be covered because there's a lot to know about masks but that'll give you a simple mask okay so let's add a little bit more to this um, now i'm going to add a um if i go over here apple zero to go back to my project window i'm going to double click here and bring in a, um, a photoshop ipad drawing now it's only a single layer so i'll click ok it's footage is fine oh what a handsome young man <laughs> Okay, so now I've got a picture. I want to add this picture to this scene. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that and just drag it down here onto this timeline. And there it is. It's a little bit too big, so I'll scale it down. Um, I'll just press the letter S to scale on that layer. And I'll drag the numbers down to about... That's how big we want it. That's fine. Excellent. So I'll put it about there. You'll notice that it's got an alpha channel in it. The background's been taken out. And what I want to do is I want to mask that the same way I masked the uh, the composition here. To do that, I'll just select my mask tool here. And I'll just start to drag the same way like this. Very nice indeed. Now it's a bit awkward to get it exactly the same circle across the bottom here. So I'll just let go of that mask like that. 
at about that point there. I did exactly the same thing I did before. I'll just select that and just move it over a little bit and move it down a little bit. So now I've got inside this logo, I've got this um, iPad drawing um, with a, uh, an amazing scene happening behind it and we can add some typography and all sorts of things um, in the next video. But uh, as you can see, it's looking good. Okay, in the next video we'll add some type and we'll have a bit of a fun with the puppet pin tool. Okay, thanks for watching.